Oh, it was so beautiful. I'm glad I didn't think I was a good singer. Wow, it's so cool. Oh my God. First time I ever did a game was was Gears of War, right? right yeah. Straight away, AAA. My first TV show was I Zombie, which ran for five years. You know, my, and then my second show, my first Netflix was with Mike Flanagan, and now my first musical is Stray Gods. <laughs> like it's like, it's just it's it's ridiculous. So, all right, here's a little snippet of the opening. Just okay. as a refresher, calibrator. This is what I was this listening is, to on the day. This is yours. So yeah, my my co-writer, uh, Stephen Gates from the band Tripod. That's him singing the scratch and playing guitar. So here we go. Here is the snippet of the very opening of the bit, just as a reminder. Mm. I'll set up the vibe and you go for it, okay? Not great at words. As you. More of a dancer. Mm -hmm. You can't tell how you feel by body locking. Grace, now it's like coming it. back to me. There Speak we go. From the heart. Yep. Be honest. You can do it. You cast a spell on me. Spell on me. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Not literally, obviously. Just speak from the heart. Be honest. Oh, that's speak awesome. There's almost a, like a Western vibe to that <laughs> harmonic. I shouldn't be surprised that you hear that in it. <laughs> You cast a spell on me. Not literally, obviously, but I feel in summary you and me are meant to be. So soulful. Cause you put a hex on me. I'm glad I didn't think I was a good singer. I didn't go into it and all of a sudden I'm shocked that that's what everyone's been listening to. <laughs> It's a feeling oh. that's killing me. But let's say categorically, okay, T, it's just you and me. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that. That's it's a... so badass. It's it's so cool. <laughs> the harmonic is killing me. The, I love the, I love how that sounds. To me, you know you. Your pallid skin, your lips are so thin, your love of books. Here's Allegra. Asterian, oh. I have but one thought. Why is it that oh. you seem so distraught? Are you saying you're in love with me? God, this is such a weird thing to say on this. I have no interest in being in a musical. Never have. <laughs> no, uh, I musical totally, theater totally get that. was never my jam. I don't like. I rarely go and see musical theater, and I just, it was just never on the horizon. Right. Um, and it, hearing this back, like I finally understand that it's it's not it's not about singing. It's about character. Hundred percent. And and trying to, and ha there's a melody to it sure but like really you're still you're still just playing the scene and and there's a, a real vulnerability and sweetness to the minotaur's voice there oh dude and this is we're just getting going like that that comes through in such great ways uh in so many spots that that exact thing because i was adamant that this wasn't in my wheelhouse i had to figure out a way with you guys to make it like work not just for the for the for the game but for me um and hearing that like uh it's fun you're doing great give it some confidence remember katie that i've got your back if ever this tower was under attack I'd hunt them down like the old days I'd chase them down the old ways But we could do it your way I'm not some maniac But this was one of those where you just worked yourself up so much and then I love that it by the by the end of the little bit they don't know you like I do it's so like so hilariously clueless that it's like it just he comes quite far from the yeah. the sort of 
like rabid foaming at the mouth. I'll chase him down the hallways. And yeah, fucking kills me. I love it so much. I don't even remember that. That's so funny. Cause it's like, um, <laughs> the out of body. To me, that's, <laughs> yeah. I don't remember even doing that. It's, 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 um, it, it's almost like he turns into like, the Lord of the Rings orcs yeah. for a second, but it works because he, you know, the the Minotaur's supposed to be a freaking, you know, beast. He's a he's yeah, a exactly. a powerful creature, and like it's nice to see it, like just a hint that, like, yeah, it's like you can still, you know, yeah, be yeah. that. Coming out of the shadows has changed everything. To you, Grace and Freddy, how do I thank you? I think you just did. You trod the path well, okay? You cast a spell on me. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I, re I remember that last line very well for some reason. That, that, that stuck with me for the last... Oh, yeah? I don't know. Yeah, since we recorded, um, yeah, that's again. I can't stop laughing. It's I, I don't know what reaction you were expecting, but like, it's 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 the equivalent, and I don't mean this in a negative. It's the equivalent of like elite football players, and by football I mean soccer, and they're doing skills, and then when it finally gets to me, I just punt the ball over the fence, and that's like, and I. But that's what it feels like, and I still am super happy with it. I think it's super funny. Like it was intentional. Um, I think it's more like the final scene in Rudy, where they put him in, and they're they're way up, like they're gonna win, but he right. makes a tackle, and everyone <laughs> loses their mind and cheers, uh, and, sure. and they're like, "We were covered," but this guy. Everyone loves this guy. Uh, thanks for for taking a gamble on me and and again, like I said, one of the things that wasn't I wasn't expecting was to mentally be where I was when I was recording, um, mm. and feeling very jaded, feeling very uh, uncreative and or creatively bankrupt, and that for, it was the machine thing, right? Just like oh, I don't care anymore. Um, and then these two days, just like. Yeah, it's been the most, some of the most fun I've had a, a recording. So, I'm, um, yeah, I appreciate we'll it. We'll find an excuse to do more. I have been used to scratch tracks, and I actually appreciated it because I've done, I've done a lot of uh, animation with singers in it because of Doctor Horrible. People, mm -hmm. you know, I had date my avatar. I've I've done you know yeah. some public singing. I don't consider myself a singer per se, but I do have training and I have sung professionally. So, I hate it when the scratch track is too good. Because ah. I did, I think it was My Little Pony. They they sent this girl over and she was incredible. And I was like, well, why why do you want me here? I And I was intimidated <laughs> the whole time. I went and had lessons to try to like beef myself up. And, and it turned out very well. I'm very proud of what I did. But I was like, no, I don't want to hear this girl being that good. That's upsetting <laughs> to me. You you have two big bookending moments of kind of the opening and then the, obviously the big grand finale. So... Yeah. Uh, this is a very spoilery little thing we're doing here. But so here's the very opening okay. one, the scratch, uh, which is the only one in the whole game that I had to sing myself. And I am, of everyone involved, the least bit singer, which is a bit of a grand irony. So it was really awful. And it was I suffered through doing this one with you because I hate the sound of my own voice. So oh, once no. again, here's the scratch that you had. I'm not hiding, though I'm a little lost here. Indeed, a lost little girl. It bears explanation. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's the vibe. So it's like. All right, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Sort of a children's piano. So, okay, here we go. This was all, all the bells and, that's and whistles. Really high for, that's really high for your voice. Like, I can't even oh, believe you're, you know, well, you very know, it admirable. Was, it was, <laughs> well, you're, you're overly kind. Here's where it ended up. <laughs> If you are lost, little girl, this bears explanation. Dear child, 
please listen. Cool. <laughs> so there's a wow. kind of big opening. That's basically the only song in the whole game that's not interactive. That just plays uh, because this wow. is this is just the big like you yeah, we accuse you and you know we can't uh, change the rules. So sorry, you gotta die. Kind of sucks, but what are you gonna do? Um, that is really cool. I think that was the hardest thing to sing too, because it was very low for my voice, and mm. it it has to have so much um, gravitas. But also, I think it was like we didn't want to oversell her as being too like strident, because there was always like the problem with the character. I mean, the the good problem is that there's a lot of layers in that you can't mm. reveal that she is ultimately not a good guy in a sense. Yeah. Yeah. She's of course, a good sure. guy in her is there's always a good guy. She's always a good guy in her mind, but of like, course, yeah. Her actions. Um, and so you want her to kind of feel like a benevolent kind of Karen in a sense. <laughs> this is my cohort. Jan from uh, Simon is his name from uh, Australia who, uh, who I did this with. He sang the scratch, gave you a far better scratch on this one. It's oh. me. Of course, it's me. So we had talked about this idea of starting the no one instruments. Who yeah. gets it done. Which is intimidating. Don't you <laughs> see? It had to be. You all turn away when I got the fish. Then you cry hooray once it's on a dish. That's how we... I, for, I, re I have like, I remember everything. One thing that that was really fun is we spent a long time working on the actual production of your voice and not in a sense of like, um, uh, like auto tune or something like that, but in the idea of adding in effects so that it almost feels like oh, she's cool. summoning a kind of supernatural, you know, don't fuck with me sort of energy. So it's not just words, oh, but there's a it. sense of like, she has, she has earned his power. She is in fact a God. So you'll yeah. hear that. Oh, cool. Uh, pretty right out of the gate here. Yes, it's me. It's me. Of course, it's me. The one who gets it done. Don't you see? It had to be. Ow. You all turn away when I got the fish. Then you cry, hooray, once it's on the dish. That's how we do this. Yes, we. Yes, you and me. I have always cared for you. I'll always do all these things for you. Give me chills. That's amazing. I mean, not me. I mean, just the orchestration, all of it. Uh, you irritating. Uh, I heard some like, yeah, I heard like sort of like it was my voice, but it's like a little tinkle in the background and like a little whoosh. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. After all of our feel good moment, here's kind of how it ends. And here's here's just a few of the different um, like I've strung together kind of one path through to the, oh, cool. to the very end here. All right, we've been chosen one of 70 million. Of course, yes, exactly. it's me. Because of me, this prophecy would come to be my Olympus is gone and your wrong At her stranger wearing my face. That was my favorite part to sing though, because I mean, let's be clear, I'm not that I'm not a badass. So when I'm like, <laughs> it was really fun to push that. And since I've become a mom, I feel like I'm more of a badass for sure, and I'm really willing to stand up for myself and other people more. But like my wheelhouse is vulnerable victim and so <laughs> when i was able to combine those things for this character i really felt like i was mm. finally showing who i am which is actually an analogy for her as a character yeah really. right one of the things that i had uh, like a challenge with is knowing 
what like even genre of music it was going to end up being. Do you know what I mean? In some cases it changed. It literally, yeah. like, like the scratch would imply one thing and then it would become something totally different by the time I arranged it because of something about you're, you know, you or one of the other performers' performances. Right where I stopped it was right was one of your, uh, the spots I remember you being mildly apprehensive about. Um, I know what it is going to be, and yes, <laughs> and it sounds I'm awesome. Terrified, I, I'm terrified to hear it. Yeah, well, enjoy, buckle up. It's it was I went full kind of, uh, Rachmaninoff. Uh, oh, you, you'll see. It's. Thanks for the welcome, it's my first oh. time here. You've made your feelings for me crystal clear. You play your show, I'll just go grab a beer. So remember this? I didn't come here yes. to quarrel with you. Big showdown with Mary Elizabeth. So here, yes. that's one. Here's the... Oh, I can't wait to hear Mary. Go home. Shadows draw near. This is hot. And you all alone. We both know how this ends. It's like sinister disco. Yes. Let's see how far she bends. We all know how this ends. Thanks for the welcome. It's my first time here. You've made your feelings for me crystal clear. You play your show, I'll just go grab a beer. Didn't come here to quarrel with you. A thousand times before. Oh, that's right, a thousand Honey, times before. It. A thousand times before. It always reminds me of David Bowie. Let's do it. A thousand times. I remember this song being like, it, like right on that like cusp of like is it going to go too high or too low because if you dropped it down like mary is singing so low on this song oh yeah i remember being blown away and trying to like hit the notes with her and be like there's no freaking way no way i'm gonna go up i'm gonna both go of up. you surprised me both of you had wider ranges than i expected like i thought i would have to move things more frequently than i did um there's stuff where you're kind of in this lower range that I just I love but you'll see there's some, there's a few higher range things from you that to me are like oh I just love them they came together I so feel like well. it fully depended on what time of day we were recording <laughs> well if we had a morning session it was like let's do them <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you were in your you were in your Christopher Judge range <laughs> your favorite Rapping Laura. Testing one, two, oh, testing no. three. Is this thing on? Are you testing me with your coterie ogling expectantly? Heads up, wrecking. That's but I love this scratch. I love yeah, it so that's much. Scott. Oh, hello. Wow. Testing one, two, testing three. Is this thing on? Are you testing me with your coterie ogling expectantly? Heads up, wrecking me won't come for free. See, it won't be easy, Persephone, when I use the moves I bring blessedly. Shadows don't scare me, see, I'll survive it. Maybe you want to do this in private. You're lost, little girl. <laughs> Wasting our time now. You killed it. The goal of a squeaky <laughs> mouse in a lion's den. So how do you feel how, after the fact about your uh, rap battle, My Bailey? rapping? Oh, just, it's just the best rapping I've ever heard. You ready to really. release a solo record in this, uh, yeah, in this vein? in this style. It actually think, sounded really fun. I think it was really fun. I think you did an awesome job. I feel like I already know what this is gonna, yep. I knew it was gonna be this one. Seat. 
She's so awesome. She's so good. That's intense. That's an intense song. It's, it's, yeah, well, you know, she's trying to kill you. I'd just like to remind you that this was effectively the first thing you recorded for this project. This specific I know. Right, part. Let's play. Like, I'm sure you can fight. Okay, but you get a fight today. And I'd just like to point out that it sounds great. And I then, was like, my anxiety when we were recording this was like sky high. I was terrified. By the end of the process, like obviously I had grown so much more comfortable and like, it felt like good. I would go in and have, like, have fun. But like that very first session, I was like. <gasps> I remember feeling bad. Like, I think she's doesn't like us anymore. Um, no. uh, <laughs> I was like, ter- is... I was terrified. I was going to like get a phone call like, thanks for trying, Laura. But uh... we found yeah. a. I'm we so found glad a... we figured it out. And, and I was oh, so yeah. happy to like get to come over to your studio and like run through things in person and like figure it out together at the beginning there. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. that was all, that was all massively invaluable. Because I find the story so unique. Oh God. Yes. I'll sing in plain speak. You rest leaves the rest of your family stressed and depressed. They repress so we'll only digress. I'm impressed by the sense of occasion, I guess. But this mess of a quest to possess is grotesque. It's happened to me and I'll never know when Calliope inside of me surfaces. So I request that your guests reassess the process. And unless you address all this godly excess, we'll continue to guess while you repossess. And I won't acquiesce till a change manifests. I'm out. Sometimes taking a breath's the only way to go. Considering the options left, it's the only way to go. What is the only way to go? So, you know, what was so funny about that? First Uh off, it's great, though. Come on. (laughs) You totally killed it. You absolutely killed it. Like, I go back to that mental state of going, oh, God. This was one where I was like, I'm pretty sure Laura kept asking for a get because I was looking, I was like, <laughs> did I fail in this rule? I don't remember saying, let's just do another, let's just do another, but there were like 30. And um, there were so many little like emotional beats that I wanted to hit in the lyrics. And so like we would get two thirds of the way down and then I would like, Meh, I didn't like the way I did that line. So I have to say, I really appreciated that about about working with you. I think pretty much the whole cast was was like this, but you especially, um you really it was never it was never just oh, okay i think i sang the right notes and i said the right words and therefore let's move on like you're still an actor and so there's this whole other dimension of it, but it did it actually say and feel the way that it's supposed to in terms of the scene and in terms of the character blah 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 yeah and there were plenty of times where i would even catch myself i'd be starting to go i think that will work and before i could say anything you'd go one more and i go okay and I just wouldn't say anything. And then you do it. And I was like, fuck, that was better. That was, it wasn't just better. <laughs> it wasn't technically better. It was like more correct. It was, it was, it was, it was writer, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? It would, it locked into the pocket of the scene, not just musically. Well, thanks again cool. for indulging this. Any ah. last, any last thoughts? Any, any regrets, confessions? No regrets, no regrets. <laughs> Good. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited about playing it genuinely and being able to hear and all of everything together. It's this really, is yeah. certainly whetted my appetite. 